Welcome to my series on vectors. There is a request from students to understand how do we represent vectors in R3? How do we find the vectors given their coordinate points? And what about the angle between the two vectors? All these questions will be answered in this particular video with the help of an example. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let us try to understand these concepts about vectors in R3 now. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll look into vectors representation in R3. I've taken an example which will help us find the coordinate points in R3 and also define vectors and find angle between the vectors. The question here is, a rectangular solid is placed on a coordinate axis as shown in the figure. Coordinates of point C are 3, 5, 4. Determine the vector db. Find angle between vectors db and OC. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. For some of my students, this is the very first introduction to vectors in R3 and therefore I'm going to get into details while solving or answering this particular question. Now we are given the coordinates of the point C. That is a very critical point. You can see from origin. If I draw connecting O to C, I get the vector OC. And point C which is given to us as 3, 5, 4. It means that the position vector O to C is 3, 5, 4, which you could write in square brackets, 3, 5, 4. Now here, you also notice how to distinguish between writing a coordinate point and writing a vector. Vector could be written as in this form, like a row, or in i, j, k, or also in the column form. Now, when I say O, C is 3, 5, 4, it really means that the coordinates of A should be what? To get to C, we come along the x-axis, 3 units. So, so the A coordinates will be 3, 0, 0. And then you move to B. 5 units along y-axis, so that should be 3, 5, 0. And then you move back to E. You could come to E directly also from O to E. That means the E coordinates will be 0, 5, 0. You get the idea. So what you see here is that we have x, y, and z-axis. And that is how you move along. Now, when you make, when you move from O to A to B to E, do you see that 2D figure, a parallelogram, or you can say in this case, a rectangle in the base? That forms the base of the solid, right? Well, to get to C, you have to go up by 4 units, and therefore, the coordinate of C is 354, which is given to us. Now, we need to also find D to B, right? So, we need to find the coordinates of D and also of B, which we just found. Now, getting to D is like from O, 
you come three units along the x axis and then you are moving in x z plane you don't move along y axis right so that coordinate will be 3 0 and you go up by 4 units 3 0 4 will be the coordinate point d you get the idea so likewise you can actually place all the coordinate points right so can you tell me what f will be well you don't move along the x axis to reach f so in that case that would be 0 and moving 5 units along y and 4 along z gives me f and for g it should be 0 0 and 4 is that clear so this is easy way of getting to the vertices of the given solid we never asked you this question how I am explaining you since it could help many of my students. Now let us get to the answer for part A which is we need to find what D to B is. Well we found coordinate point D which is right there right 304 and now when I say we need to find the vector DB it means what? So the vector db will be ob minus od, right? Basically, it is o to b minus o to d. That is what it is. And this subtraction you can do in many different ways. Now, ob, as I was saying, is ob is 0 to 350, right? So we could write this as 350 minus OD, which is 304. And that gives me the vector DB as 3 take away 3 is 0, right? And then we get 5, and then we get minus 4. So that becomes the vector d to b db you get the idea so now we know that vector db is 0 5 minus 4 vector oc is already given to us as 3 5 4 we are done part a now let us look into part b which is how do we find the angle between the two vectors okay so let's continue so we found that 0, 5, 4, minus 4 is vector O to D, right? So, so O D O D was given to us. We just figure let me write down here again. So as far as B is concerned, the coordinate points for B will be you move three units along X. 5 units along y and 0 along z and for d you move 3 units and 0 along y but 4 units up correct and for c you are already given the position vector 3 5 4 so we are going to use these points to find all our vectors let me rewrite what db is so db is joining this right let me connect it properly right that's better that is db and we are looking at o to c also so o to c is this vector we need to find angle between these two vectors right so db some of you may also prefer to write it in a column so b is 350 minus d which is 304 which gives us 0 5 minus 4 that is db right and oc is given to us as
354. Let us also find the magnitude of dB, which will be square root of 0 square plus 5 square plus minus 4 square. Correct? So that is 25 plus 16. Six and five eleven forty one square root and magnitude of OC is three square plus five square plus four square, which is nine plus twenty five plus sixteen, right? So when I add nine to this, I get square root of fifty which we could write as 5 square root 2 also if you want, right? So we have these two vectors. However, what we need to figure out is the angle between them. So how do we get the angle between the vectors? That is what we need to now understand. So, okay. So you know the dot product of two vectors? That helps us to find the angle. So, if I have dot product of db dot oc, then it is equal to the magnitude of db times the magnitude of oc times cos of theta, the angle between them. So, now we can actually use this formula and find what cos theta is. So, cos theta is equal to the dot product of db and the vector oc divided by the magnitude of db times the magnitude of oc. Does it make sense to you? Correct? So now, let's write down the vector db. Well, the vector db is 0, 0,5 minus 4. And OC is given to us as 354. The magnitudes we just figured out were square root of 41 and square root of 50. So that should give us the cos theta. So when you do the dot product, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 5 times 5 is 25 and 4 times 4 minus 16 over square root of so we have 82 here we could write we could write 5 square root 82 right okay so now theta is equals to cos inverse of 25 minus 16 which is 9 over 5 square root 82. So, we get the angle as shift cos inverse of 9 divided by square root of T times 41, which gives us 78.53. So that is how we can find the angle between the two vectors. In this case, the two vectors being db and OC. You see that. So, these two vectors have an angle of 78.53, which you can find using the dot product. So, I hope these steps are absolutely clear and you understand how do we solve such a question. Now, let us uh, summarize the steps. So, one, find the coordinate points, right?
So, to find DB, we found what D is, right? So, D coordinate point was 3, 0, 4. And for B, we found that the coordinate point was 3, 5, 0. And therefore, DB, vector DB will be OB minus OD. So, that gave us the vector 3 minus 3 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5, 0 minus 4 as minus 4. We are given the vector OC, right? Which was 3, 5, 4. And to find the angle theta, which is cos inverse of dot product of DB and OC, right? Let me write DB here, dot OC divided by their magnitudes, magnitude of db times magnitude of oc. You get the idea. So, that is how we could solve this particular question. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.